So the government's targeting yet another merger. Regulators are skeptical that uh, the health insurance companies Cigna and Anthem can offer enough concessions to kind of preserve competition. Stocks mixed on that news. Gary Kalpam joins us. And um, I said another because we've had other examples of this, uh, the idea that these companies getting together is all, almost automatically a bad thing. What's your take? Well, look, we just had Baker Hughes, Halliburton, Allergan, Pfizer, and the dreaded Office Depot Staples deal go bye-bye because of all the chaos in the pen market that it would cause. <laughs> right, uh, well. Look, I, I, I get a little bit of this, but keep in mind, government's causing a lot of this in the uh, managed care market. Uh, pricing is all over the map now. Nobody knows where anything's going, so they're forced to make some moves like this. Uh, it's all about the bigness. This antitrust division does not like bigness. Uh, this deal would make it 120 billion in sales and 54 million members. And even a lot of doctor and hospital groups are uh, completely against it because they're worried about reimbursement. So I get a little bit of it, but leave no doubt they do not like companies getting together in a big well, way. Well, let me ask you then. It's kind of a philosophical question, though. I picked up on your sarcasm. Even I was uh, didn't uh, lose that on the Staples Office Depot thing. So. So should we kind of separate the industries out? I mean, if you look at that and you say, who cares? So let these guys get together. It doesn't matter. Uh, pens and pencils. But if it's a big bank merger, we should look at it much, much differently because we don't want the banks to be too big or... Well, look, I'm a capitalist. I, I believe let be. And if somebody wants to get together, that's fine. But look, there is a thing called monopolies. Right. And when you do get too big and you get to control prices, I do believe there should be oversight. But there also is what we call overkill on not letting things get done. And sometimes you uh, tr do too much by preventing mergers and it actually hurts things versus helps things. I think in a situation like this where government's causing all the chaos and havoc, uh, you let these companies get together. And so you're let the drawing pricing, the line where uh, by like sales or by industry, you know, the, you know, the monopoly stories from years ago in the steel industry or, or, or is it just by how big a certain merger is? I mean, because you, as you say, there is some sort of a balance to be fair, right? Oh, listen, it, it, it is based on bigness, and it also has to be based on industry and how many players are left in the game. I've always complained that in the airline industry now, there are many routes where there's only one air, uh, airliner flying that route, and guess what? They can price it any way they want, and they actually do, and I think that's uh, something that has to be looked at in a certain way. So if pricing gets out of hand and people are able to do things that hurt the consumer, yeah, I get it, but I think government uh, too often, and most definitely this uh, uh, government uh, is just going too far. All right, Gary. Uh, thank you. It's good to see you. Uh, Gary Kalpam there.